Welcome back to Breathing Corpses. And to the vine that I will now climb. Although, before I do, I guess I should have a look around at ground level here, right? I haven't done so. Hello. Well, you're not the skull that I'm supposed to be looking for, if anything. Oh. Four. We've read one and two. We haven't read three. Okay. I'm not... I'm, I'm going to come back and read that out, but before I do... Just get a light on him. Do you wonder if he might also be another invincible one, like the other guy who had something wrong with his face? Probably. I'm gonna guess probably. So I'm gonna just leave him alone. Let's see if number three is in here. Oh, you're probably not invisible. Uh, invincible. Ow! He got me. Oh, somebody, somebody heard that and is not happy about it. Both of them heard that, and they're not happy about it. Fine. Go this way. After all. Alright, let's just read these. Four. But eventually the rotten sun began to cool down. As millennia went by, it was slowly decaying and losing its radiant warmth. One day the rotten sun shattered into a rain of shards, and only one piece of it remained strong enough to glow still. However, the smaller shards were smelted down to create our most precious relics. So how suns work, okay. Oh. That was a fluke. I was just like, oh, let's just grab the skulls in the niche. Oh, that one had something under it. Which I accidentally frog first. Five. Even though the remains of the Rotten Sun were extremely weak, they were still powerful enough to fulfill their role as guides for the Hammerites. But all humans had heard about the Rotten Sun and its slow decay, and now even those not following the path of the Builder wish to obtain a chunk to exploit its power. You saw me. Oops. <gasps> now he's lost sight of me. I guess I should go climb up that vine, huh? I'll wait until this guy's decided to start walking away. You know what? That's not a water arrow. I have 23 water arrows, you know, I can use a couple. <gasps> uh -huh. Oh, hello, there's a place up there as well. Oh, there's a ladder. Interesting. Not sure how we'd get up there. Hmm, not sure how we'd get up here either. Hang on, let's give ourselves a way back up there at least. That should, should be possible to climb up this vine on there. I right? just was a bit too high. There we go. Another healing fountain. Excellent. What is this place then? Six! The rotten sun had been concealed for millennia and the warmth had left the builder's lands. He who covets the rotten sun shall not grasp this pure token of pride, sacred gift of the builder, with his impure hands. Richard man, turn back this instant, or may you rot forever in the deepest depths of the builder's forsaken lands. Look, I'm just 
learning about it. I'm not stealing it, but it can help. Oh, hello there. Please be vigilant and not see me. Knowledge is our weapon with which we carve a path to an Thank you. Oh, hang on. Another one of those hiding in the wall guys. Okay. More water arrows, more skulls. I have a lot of coins under them, or at least one of them has coins under it. See, my, my desire to touch all the skulls is a value. Another mortuary coin and some water arrows, okay. I still have no idea where there's uh, Two bowls were that we found before, but hey, we have healing now. Oh, and a gold candlestick I didn't see before. Very weird thing in this mission that the gold candlesticks always seem to be paired with a non-gold one. It's like they're never, they're never symmetrical. No wonder the old man's upset. All right, guess I'm gonna. How many binary to have? Three left. So that's still plenty. I'm gonna leave this one here so we have an easy access. Um, to the healing. I mean, I guess we can always run all the way up here to get to the healing, right? Yeah, yeah, we don't need to leave the arrow there. Now we need to do want to find out about the, uh, What am I going to do about this ladder? I could climb the ladder if I could get there. But it seems unlikely I could get there. Even though those windows look out over there, I don't think I could jump to the ladder from it, could I? Seems pretty unlikely. I'm going to try. There's a cabinet here. A run up. Alright, we can. Doesn't feel very safe, but it's possible. The secret is it. Just lots and lots of loot. Oh, what was that? Slowfall potion, I think. I had one before, yeah, that was a slowfall potion. Which I guess is how you're supposed to get back down. Alright. Because, yeah, getting back on that ladder and making the jump back would be really impossible. Let's try it. <sighs> Didn't even wake him up. Okay, so the chapel doesn't seem to have anything, doesn't have anything wrong with it, right? All of the Screaming Flesh, which is a weird name, have I been in these rooms? The answer to me is yes I have, but also I think there was something in one of them I kind of wanted to deal with, maybe? Oh, there's the newcomer's rooms in here. You never know when people might hide something under vases. Alright, um... Mm-hmm-hmm. Oh yeah, what's up here again? I know I went here just... Well, last episode was... I'm taking more of a break. 
Oh yeah, there's a safe. And there's nothing on top of the bookshelves. So, chapel seems to have nothing to do with anything. Which, I mean, there was a little bit of loot, I suppose. So even to me, that's suspicious, though. Those no, uh, stained glass windows are not symmetrical. But I mean, they're symmetrically arranged, but they're not opposite to each, opposite each other. Uh, and that's just just idle musings on the rotten sun and why anyone would take it. I don't know what's up with the chapel. All right, so I don't know what I'm doing in this area. I mean, apart from the stuff that I've already found, I suppose. Kim Helm's tomb. Yeah, okay, we found Kim Helm's tomb. Let's let's check out the south end again. There's a question mark there that I hadn't answered. Right, this is a question mark. It's just it's just a stairwell, but it leads to healing and Ken Helm's tomb. Ken Helm's tomb surely has got something to do with something, right? The heel flunked upstairs. And that's the stairs. Fill out our map. Brother Ken Helm. Oh, hello. Hello? Another skull, okay. Does this one do anything? Nope. Alright, well, I guess. Guess that's all. Unexpected secret. Cool. Alright, so there's plenty of healing fonts down in these tombs, which is very generous. It's like I was saying how generous the infinite one at the top is that you can backtrack to, but. Extremely generous. Which way was the chapel? Not me. Really. I don't want to go that way. Extremely generous to have even more of them. Alright. Uh, so where are we going from here? I have not been through those doors. So I must come in from here. Yeah, okay. And up there was... I don't remember. That was just the numbers, that was just the plaques, right? About the place. Huh. About the sun. What's this? A lonely truth teller amidst a sea of liars. Uh. Okay, before we throw anything, let's... Are they going to open this door, or do just want, this is one of my keys open this door? Probably they'll open the door, right? I could try mine, I don't think they'll open the door. Hello, what's all this then? Daniel of Sadler. Oh, more Sadlers. Okay, this is the, the Sadler's legacy must be here. The other place was just... Am I supposed to remember the names? Some of these look familiar. Oh, do I have to do them in order? Probably have to do them in order. Dang. How are we gonna get up there? Sadler's Vault. Okay. So down here is uh, Sadler's Vault. Can we get up from here now? Can we... How do we get up? 
Is there a doorway? Is it... Okay, we can get up there from with inside this vault, I guess. Alright. The rotten sun hath cast an eternal curse upon the Sadler dynasty. May its second, third, fifth, and eighth generations be cursed forever for the ancestors' sins that have tainted our world. Okay, two, three, five, eight. We need saddlers. Two, three, five, and eight. Right, we don't have to problem all in order. And I don't know what's up with this, but we'll check it out when we come back. Can I find my way back to the other place? I don't know what's down there either, we, right? We need to explore down here. Before we go down there. There's so many parts everywhere. So my notes page said Sadler's was north and west of the Flamehead Room or west and north from Warm Embrace. So we find either of those places and we're fine. This is Warm Embrace, right? Right. It's up in there, which we get to. Not from there, that takes us to the nave. We get to from here. I said west and north. This one, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to write them all down, oh, if we have space to, I guess I can put them out of here, so that's 2358, we'll just put that, we'll put the 2358 out of the way, okay. Sigmaia. Two is Bradley. Three is Oscar. Four is Quicksoot. Five is Obadar. Six is Havel. Because it might be we need the ones other than two, three, five, eight, right? In order. Kareem is seven. Eight is Daniel. Nine is Voss. And ten is Herless the Stillborn. I guess it was the last of the Saddler line then. And we're never anymore. All right. Now back again. That's the way to. Is my mouse being funny again? No. Maybe it's being funny because of dust this time instead of that. Um, a lot of backtracking, a lot of wandering around, lost, not knowing really what you're trying to do. And now I'm trying to remember where I was trying to go up here. What do I do about you? I don't know. Have I looked? Hang on, have I looked up here? 
I don't know if you have one similar to this, but was it there? <laughs> hmm. Yes, of course, that's how we got to the uh, place in the first place. Okay. Come on, grab it. <coughs> no, that's fine. Uh, where are we trying to go? We don't want to go to the nave. We want to come down here. Here, do we? I haven't been in there yet. I haven't been up there yet. Have I? Justice Shrine. And the old dead vault. Yeah, I marked them down. I haven't been to them yet. Oh, I know this place. We've kind of been here before, right? This might be a good place for a holy water bomb, right? Let's try it. Oh, did it not wake you up? Oh, you weren't... You weren't actually... Undead? Whoops. Oh well. So this isn't where I want it to be. Why is there an arrow pointing at that? So that I won't miss it or what? Oh, here's the two bottles. Okay. Don't know what we're doing, but let's put more tree coins in. Oh, what? Okay, where am I now? Well, somewhere with loot, I guess that's good. Somewhere with water arrows. Very lost city in here. 8,000 loot! I didn't even realize I had a loot goal because it didn't have a number on it in the main objectives. Alright, we've teleported to the lost city. Looks like there's a fire crystal up in that fire. Lava here. More water arrows. Okay, there's stairs there. Mines, invisibility potion, flash bombs. This is a supply cache for something. Moss arrows. Okay, the fire must be up this way, but what, what can I hear? That's a big noisy archer. Are these old statue guys? Another holy water bomb. Oh, I think he saw me because it's very bright up here. <sighs> Probably should have quick saved before making that jump, but uh, okay, afterwards works, I guess. Oh, so that's teleport back out. I guess I can't get out those windows, right? <sighs> Can I? <sighs> Number six, there is a place out there. There's a real place out there. Surely there's, there's something that I can get to out there. Not from here? I guess it's all too narrow. Alright, let's make this jump again. <laughs> and teleport back to here, okay. And this place also has another hammer tile. And traps. And a safe. Another place I haven't been.
shit. I don't want to do too many of that. Wasted a coin, but I guess I still have enough. Get out of the way, please, sir. You're slightly inconvenient there. I saw a diamond up here. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to take the damage. <coughs> Ouch. Well, there's healing fountains around. Where the hell am I now? Okay, uh, one floor at a time. Heron's Vault. Okay. I still haven't gone down there. I was trying, I was trying to get back to these guys and uh, got lost. I don't know where I am. Uh, down from... Two bowls for him. Oh, it's the other thief. X. Interesting. John, if you happen to backtrack a bit and find this note, I have a piece of advice. See those hammer pattern slabs on the floor here and there in the tombs? They are used to open those large brass doors leading into the vaults that are scattered all around the place. But here is the catch you cannot activate the slabs without a specific hammer. I found one in the morgue. It appears to be a rough replica of the one we are looking for. I noticed that dropping it on the coloured slabs opens nearby rooms. However, watch out for grey slabs. Those are traps waiting for you to step on them whether you use the replica or not. On another note, I made an interesting discovery. There is one of those good slabs I just mentioned lying on the floor beneath the Justice Shrine. I believe it gives access to the final resting place of someone very important. Why is that? Well, long story short, Hammerites used to bury the most precious members in hidden tombs when they deemed that malicious thieves like us, could torment the body and use it to their advantage. The corpse that is waiting in there is probably a saint or something of that kind. This implies that there is probably something really valuable in there. Naturally I went in to check if my theory was correct, but as soon as I got in there something began to slash out at me, and then at an alarming rate. I've not found a way to get in there safely. Maybe mere unbelievers like us are not blessed enough to get in there, who knows? I do not believe in these fanatic senseless babbles, but if you guys think reading some holy book would help, then help yourself to the library. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. I wonder if that's a blessing that wears off over time. If one of you is stupid enough to believe that some book will help you with that saint's tomb, you might as well try a leap of faith to reach the other side of that room with a giant hammer's shadow on the floor. Take care and do not let yourself get caught by those freaks down there. No one knows what those malformed monstrosities are up to. I can't take it with me. It's way too much information. That's Dave. Okay. And that's going to open parents' tomb, I guess, we're standing there with the thing. So, relic in the morgue. Hammer for tiles. What else does he say? Got to make some notes here. Uh. One of those slabs is on the floor beneath the Justice Shrine. Tile on floor beneath Justice Shrine. Um, maybe need the blessing of the book, right? Okay. Of, of, of that book. I'll just say that book. I know the wrong thing. And what's the other thing he says? So, uh, try a leap of faith to reach the other side of the room with the giant's ha hammer's shadow on the floor. Leap of faith to reach the other side of room with hammer shadow. Got these notes. One notes page is not enough for the list. <laughs> uh, mission. Alright. Oh, hello. What's up? 
We can get up here. Right? <gasps> How heavy are the sins of thy heathen son? How strong hath this priest righteously chastised the heathen? How heavy are the sins of thy faithful father? What? Alright, so this is the Justice Shrine. We can get on top of this. Well, not with that. Fine. Wait, have I been in here? This looks familiar. Oh, this is the old man's room. Okay, yeah, we saw this door and didn't go out this way. Uh, what was your predicament again? God, you said something. Did I even write it down? Uh, I've got to make a note of this thing we just found as well. No, oh, God, I don't... Book that goes ding, that's the one. The builder's words must be the book that goes zing, right? If we have the builder's words, we can do that. We can go in those places, I guess, maybe. But how do you get there quickly? Or maybe it's just a thing that happens once, I don't know. God, there's so much going on here, and I do not, did not, what the fuck did the old man want? <sighs> yeah, he was complaining about things not looking right, but where? I mean, I'd like to fix up the chairs, but I can't. There's this rubble, mattress of bits outside. And what was, what was over here? <laughs> okay, that's just that. Okay. Well, that's the way to get through here quickly, right? So north, north. No, south of Nave. Old man, south of Nave. Long haul there. Uh... Okay. There's... Well, we'll try lockpicks first, right? Nope. Okay, let's try our keys. Nothing. Alright, let's take this back. Right, so we are now west, so the Justice Shrine is here. Tall. Justice Shrine. And we can get through that way as well. And then up here, there's a locked door. Oh, I've been here. Grave Warden duties. A new warden was transferred to the tombs a week ago. He's quite young and inexperienced for such a duty, in my opinion. But who am I to judge the builder's ways? 
The teams have been attracting many thieves lately. Only this month, a dozen of them were killed. They're easy prey. The dead scare them, and the complexity of the place makes them wander around. Yeah, you can say that again. Some of them managed to get away, though, taking some valuables and destroying some places. Build or curse them. There are so many rules to be remembered in so little time. Them thieves, they all come for the same reason. To steal the rotten sun. It leaves us almost no time to renovate the place or to teach that newcomer our ways. I tried to show him some of the chores he was responsible for, but the fool would not listen. He seems very nervous when we are around. I wonder why that is, Grave Warden Henry. Because you have no faces. I would put most people off. What's key again? Okay. This is just quarters. Okay, nothing, nothing super exciting. I've obviously been here because there's a smash zombie. Right, okay, let's just buy the bottles. Okay, and okay, okay, okay. Oh, there's a safe in the uh. So down here, we have uh, south to two bowls, justice, well, justice shrine. Door to neighbors being dealt with. Um. Locks safe in two bowls. And the ossuary is here. Okay, we have the ossuary key, right? Maybe? Alright, uh, where did I put Dave? Dave is still down here, right? And John isn't too far away. Maybe we can get them to the ossuary. I mean, I don't know if they need to go there, that's where the wardens are supposed to take them, and since we've been killing the wardens, I guess it kind of behooves us to do their job for them. And that looks like another healing font. Huh. What happens if you go down there? Well... Some thieves have been thrown down there already. Oh, I see. There's a plank over this one. We can go down and get back out. Okay. It's not a healing pump. It's just a, just a fountain. Bones. Alright, let's go back and bring John as well, if I can remember where I left him. Stay off the traps. This is way out. Uh, what room is this? Do I... I don't know this room. Oh, okay, this is down the road. Okay. <laughs> so I left... Oh, hello. Walked past that a thousand times. I left John up in here somewhere, right? I might be on the map, I guess. Oh, I left him in the, just around the corner here. Yeah, the, I had brought him up here and then I took him back because I wasn't sure I wanted to leave him. Hey, hey, hey. So I left him in the kind of chapel room near the library. This one? No? Did I? That's where I marked him. That's where I wrote that I left him. Huge. in here. So I saw something on the shelf, but it was just a doorknob. Did I die after leaving him? 
after where I thought I left him? And if so, then where did I actually leave him? Right, this is the room that's very weird. Oh, okay. Remember that fake bars? This has to be facing. I, these two rooms have to be symmetrical, I see. Right, 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 that's what's bothering the old man. There's symmetry in here, so. Torches on the inner wall, statues facing the inner wall. That's on the outer wall. Okay, that's the same. And we put our fake bars on here. Okay, this should help the old man, I think. Yes. Even the doors open opposite directions. Okay. Um. Yeah, John is not here. Where's where did where did I leave him? This is the way to the nave. So I guess we can get to the old man. And then worry about John afterwards. One of the places I did put John for a while was up here. Oh, that was just... Uh, it's not helping me. Um, uh, Justice Shrine, we have How heavy are the sins of thy faithful father? Sins of thy faithful father. How strong hath the priest righteously chastised the heathen? And I bet this is the stuff that we've read or might have read in books and we're just going to have to go back and read every single fucking book again to figure it out. How heavy are the sins of thy heathen son? Heaviness. So that's all Justice Shrine, right? Okay, so was the old man's place above that or down? I don't remember. Old Dead's Vault. Good. Does this leave you the old man? Yes, okay. You happy, man? I did some stuff for you, I thought. No? I, I've made it all symmetrical. Do you not care? Oh my god, now... Uh, where the fuck did I actually leave John? Should have left him there, right? So carting him around to who knows where. Oh my god, I'm just going around in circles. Oh I threw him down. I threw him down uh right. Okay. 
down to the floor below where the boat came out. Which I have no idea how to get back to. Alright, well, uh, you... So, we need to keep going north of Justice Shrine, right? Or two bowls, rather. Was it trying to do this, or... Oh, that's the Justice Shrine. Where was that door we saw to the Ossuary? Was it down here? No, we came up. That was up here? It wasn't down this way, was it? Oh, it was here. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Wait, but this other passage should also also said to the ossuary, and we haven't been there. Oh, hello. Oh, you're a glowy skull, golden bone. Okay, hang on. Maybe you're the skull we need for the other guy. Who was this? No, not that way. This way. I'm so constantly lost in this map. It's so very annoying. Yeah, up here, up here. You. Did you want this? Then another question mark. Great. This is not really how you build good riddles. This is more a good riddance. Okay, so my question is still asked, what's the other the other passage that's supposed to lead to the bossery? How does it get here? Surely not up there. I mean, there might be loot there. I can maybe get there? Well, that's uh, not a vine. Oh, is this wood? I mean, it doesn't look like wood, but... Or dirt, but it does stick the arrows, as we kind of found out before. Nothing there. Well, I'm down here now. <laughs> Charles is here, all right. And some moss and some loot. And some more loot, okay. Well, lucky there's a plank, huh? I'm lucky I didn't take deadly fall damage. Ooh, this shot's gonna be a little hard to do. I guess it's fine, we can go up the side and mantle out. We don't need to climb onto the plank. Well, I've been down there now, let's... Oh, hang on. You've got money on you, Dave. You didn't even notice. Right, Dave is in there. I can take this back. Is there anything else I can see? Oh, yes. Look around, anything suspicious? It's just texture. Well, it seems like I could everything that might be there. And that doesn't actually go anywhere. Alright, well... 
Did I try all my keys on? No, I can't even. Okay, that's gonna open with the hammer there. Or the Voltaire wheel or something. Okay, so this has got to connect, right? To the other place. Hello, this is new. Healing fountain, okay. Nice, thank you. And neither of you statues or anything. It's just a healing fountain. Alright. So where is this? This was... Okay. Explore north of two bowls. We've got a healing fountain. North of two bowls. And... Okay, good thing there's healing here. Why don't you leave me alone? There's nothing there except him, alright. Ah. Got my hand stuck in sludge again, alright, fixed. You didn't. For some reason, I thought you had something on your head. You did not, okay. There's a downstairs and there's a door that's locked. Uh, okay, so all the keys again. I have no idea where the hammerhead is. I'm gonna need to go back and listen to the previous recordings to find out what the old man said, what, what the thing said. It says something about the hammer shrine, right? Oh. Hello. Holy water. Dirty chair. Icon replica. Okay. These tombs are a very sacred place for the builder and the promised place for every saint. It has been built over the last thousand years. The deepest parts of the catacombs are their most ancient. Even though everything down there is extremely old, it is impressively well preserved. Lately we have suffered invasions. Pillagers are looting the upper parts of the tombs. And by doing so, they are damaging the area quite severely. We managed to keep them away for the moment. Their invasions have disturbed the dead sleep. Corpses, more or less preserved, are roaming about the tombs. They do not seem hostile to us, to, towards us, however. The Builder must have let them know that we are their wardens and that our duty is to protect their resting places. Still, they are extremely ferocious towards intruders and will rip apart anybody who dares to steal from the sepulchre. There is another thing worth noting. The thieves are using an odd language. It has to be their vernacular, or maybe it's their pronunciation. They also look extremely surprised, even terrified, when they run into us or the dead. Maybe they did not expect to encounter such severe resistance here? What and Moira wrote a report about one of the thieves' conversations. Apparently they were looking for a city made of iron, which has to be some sort of a heathen rumour. Their first reaction as they entered the tombs was that they were mistaken about the place, and that there was neither mansion nor city to be seen. We will have to make further investigations in order to prevent future invasions. Hmm. Is there a report on there? These conversations? I don't know if any of that means anything to me, but maybe not. Okay, with the study chair we could take to the old man, maybe. Um, but before we do, let's see if this does connect to where I thought it did. Okay, I've been here. Yes, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, we know where this is. Um, I can't carry you. Which one are you, which one are you again? You don't have a name. Oh, hello. Still missing pieces of loot. Now again. Uh, it's the hole where the boat came in, right? Was that this way? 
Wait a minute, it wasn't the hole where the boat came in. I... What was it? Oh, I'm, I'm confused again. Right, so we can climb up to those gargoyles. Is there a reason to? Let's find out. Slightly. Slightly a reason. Is it worth the fall damage? Probably not. We didn't take any. That's fine. Okay. Well, that's Asterius. This hole. This is, this is... Hello, hello John, we found you again. Okay. So now we do know how things connect, and I guess the boat is of value, sort of. Four high <laughs> passageways. Uh, this way. They're fine as long as you put them a quarter unit or a half unit above the ground. Right, we went up the other steps. So that, um... Did I read this one? Yes. Um... Quarter unit or half unit above the ground so that you step up to it. Then you, then you fit in no trouble, but if it's at ground level, then sometimes you just can't walk into it. Okay, so the ossuary was this way. And we have the icon now, actually. Alright, let's throw... Uh, there's a thief down that pit, a thief down this pit, let's throw John down this one. Wait, you don't have any... You're the only person. No, I need to All right, is that good work? I don't know. However, I know we have an icon replica now, so why don't I call this episode here? Next episode, we can start stepping on these tiles and get some of these mysteries starting to be unraveled, I suppose. So thanks for watching and uh, see you soon for that.